art channel. Without further ado, let's get drawing. Hi everybody and welcome back. Today we are going to do a cute little raccoon from my Wildwood Animals collection. So if you haven't been and checked out my other videos, we've done a fox, a hedgehog, a squirrel, and we are going to do the raccoon today. And then I've got a red panda coming up on the next video. So keep watching. Okay, so for today, we're going to do something like this. This is in the same style and we're going to be using the same tools as on the other videos. And this is just so that you can really practice and um, really perfect um, the way that you the, the way that you use these tools on program. So we've opened up a canvas 12 by 12 as all the other times. We are going to turn on our drawing guide, edit the drawing guide, turn on the symmetry. And as you can see, we now have the symmetry feature turned on on this layer. So we're going to choose our studio pen. We're going to turn it up about halfway, probably about 40. And we're going to choose for this part a dark kind of gray. And this is going to be the base color of the body and the head. So you want to get it the right color. And in the, the raccoon, we're going to do white, black and gray as the color schemes. So just make sure that you get the gray that you that you want to use. OK, so for the head shape, we're going to do again, like we did on a previous video, a rugby type head shape with a flick at the end. So go ahead and just do something like this and then drag and drop. Now we're going to add the ears. We're going to do the same thing, turn on, add a new layer and turn on drawing assist and just make two little ears as so. Then you are going to add a layer above the head, underneath the ears, and click on clipping mask. And you're going to choose the white color. Turn your studio pen down slightly. And then inside the head, you're just going to do another shape like this. Um, it would be better if you turn drawing assist on for this layer because you're still in the head. So we're just going to go ahead and do something like that. That was an accident. Let's try again. It needs to, the seams need to be perfectly joined up so that when you drag and drop your color, there you go. Okay. Then we're going to do a black color and this is going to be for the outline of the eyes. So just go ahead and draw a small curve in kind of like a swirl and then join it up at the bottom and then drag and drop. You are also going to do a small nose and a tiny mouth. Click the, hold your finger on the gray color and then just come down and do a small line above the nose. Pick the white color again and just do two round circles, the black color. Whoops. Okay, I held my finger down for too long so I erased everything that I had done really quickly. So just go ahead and, okay, click the black color and then just do a small dot inside there. Okay, so you have your basic head, which we're going to add on to later. Click on alpha lock on the ears, on the ears layer, and just go ahead and do two small black triangles in the ear. And we are going to combine these layers so we're going to group them 
and then we're going to flatten and now we have this head in one layer now we're doing this because i'm going to slightly rotate the head like so okay and we're just going to move it up slightly so that there's enough room for my body underneath okay so we're going to add a new layer we're going to bring it down underneath the head we're going to pick our gray color again and we're just going to do a slight curve down here and then a slight bump just here and then we're going to join them up and join the top and then drag and drop. Okay. We're now going to do another layer. So add a layer on top above the body. And this time in a black so that you can see what you're drawing. We're going to do the tail. So you're going to start off here and you're going to come with a curve. You're going to bring it up and then make it thinner in the middle and towards the end. So you have a curved like shape. For the tail which is in front of the body you're then going to click on your gray color and you're going to turn alpha lock on on the tail turn your pen all the way up and just do some gray stripes in this layer to make the tail for the raccoon Okay, so now above your body, you're going to add another layer and you're going to click clipping mask. Now on this layer, we're going to create the white of the body <clears throat> and the arms. So choose a white color and then you can turn your pen down for this so that you can get it exactly right as you want it. And then just in here, we're just going to draw <clears throat> something like this. We're going to choose the black, the gray color. And that's happened again. I really didn't want to do that. Oh, it's just deleted everything. Okay, so we're just, we're gonna go ahead and do that again. So let's just do our lines again. Okay, above the body, clipping mask and a white colour. Okay, there we go. Okay, the grey. Make sure you don't hold your finger too long on the screen because it, it raises um, the steps that you've just done previously, which has happened to me twice today. It's really annoying me. Okay, so we have the grey colour. Turn your pen down so we need some details for this. Okay, and then just go ahead and then just add a cute little arm. Okay, now this has happened because I'm doing the arm on top of the white layer. So you can either just colour it in or you can add another layer with another clipping mask. As so. Okay. Okay. So there you have the base of the raccoon. We need to add some shading. We need to add a background. And we are going to add some cute little flowers in between here, which he's going to be holding. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the shading. So you're going to pick your charcoal brush, which is your carbon stick brush, and you're going to go onto each layer and click alpha lock and then pick the colors that you're going to shade with. So for the head, I'm going to do some dark black. I'm going to bring it down to about 10, 11, and then I'm just going to go ahead and shade. Okay, now my drawing assist is still on, so make sure you turn that off. I'm just going to shade down here one side. And then on the top of the head where the ears meet, I'm going to turn it down even smaller and I'm going to zoom in so that I've got some shade here. This doesn't have to be perfect, it's just about adding some texture and make it look a bit more 3D. 
and pick my white and I'm going to do my highlights. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go ahead onto my body and click alpha lock and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to pick black. I'm going to go down here and then white for the highlights and then the same for the arms and for the inner part of the body click alpha lock click the color that you're using And then last but not least for the tail, click make sure alpha looks turned on and then go ahead and choose the colours for your shading. I'm going to turn the opacity down slightly so that this isn't too dark here on the tail because I've already got quite a lot of black here. And then I'm going to do some white at the top for the highlights. Okay, so there you have little Mr. Raccoon. So if you remember in the previous videos, we combined, grouped all the layers, duplicated to make the shadow. That's exactly what we're going to be doing now. So before we do that, let's just add quickly some very small shadows on top of what we've done. So on top of the head, I'm going to do another clipping mask before we group the layers because it's easier. Click black, go back to your studio pen, turn it all the way up and turn the opacity down quite a lot. And then just go ahead and create a very subtle shadow with clean lines. Nothing too serious. And then again on the body. Now, because I have quite a few clipping masks here on the body, I'm just going to do it with the alpha lock. And on the white, make sure that your shadows join up on each layer. Now here, I'm just going to blend the shadow slightly so that it's not as um, so that it's not as smooth. So that we've got just a slight blend there. Okay, and then on the tail, you probably won't be able to see the shadow as well, but we're just going to do. There you go. going to slightly blend this shadow here okay so there you have the base of your raccoon okay so now we are going to group the layers we finished working on these layers, so we're just going to swipe right and we're going to group them. We're going to duplicate it and on the bottom layer, we're going to click flatten. And then we're going to make sure alpha lock is turned on and fill the layer with a black color because this will create the shadow that we want. Now, this first group up here, just move it up slightly. You can turn this bottom layer off. Now you can add a new layer 
And then as we've done before, make sure you've got your studio pen, make sure the opacity is turned up, pick the color that you want for the base. And then as we've done before, just go ahead and do a squiggly kind of line. You can just be creative with this. This is, you know, more abstract clip art kind of fun style, really easy to do. So bring this layer to the bottom, turn on alpha lock, and you can go ahead and do your texture with your charcoal brush. So um, where he's sitting, I'm just gonna do something a little bit darker and then just around the edges and on the bottom. And then with the white, we're going to do just some highlights as so. And then we are going to click on this layer that we've duplicated, turn it on so that you can see it. We're going to click clipping mask. You are then going to turn the opacity down and then you are going to move him so that now you can see there is a shadow. You can rotate it, you can flip it so that you can get the shadow in the right place that you that you want it. OK, so there you have little Mr. Raccoon. You can turn off your drawing guide and then pick a background color that you think suits what you are doing. And there you have Mr. Raccoon. Thanks for watching and come back for the next video. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it really helps me in creating more and more, more and more free videos for all of you out there. So if you want to come and join my Procreate group, the links are in the description. I'd love for you to be a member of my group. We can share all some ideas, tips and artwork. Also, please don't forget to tag me on Instagram so that I can see what work you've created from this awesome tutorial. So love to you all and I'll see you in the next video.